A lot of players of Blanc's fruits don't level up fast compared to the pros. Even if you grind for a long time, if you don't grind efficiently, a lot of your time will be wasted. In this video I'll tell you 5 ways you can speed up your grind in each C. Watch till the end of the video to learn all of these methods, and before we start, if you aren't subscribed, press that subscribe button right there to help me out. Enjoy the video. Let's start with the first C. The number one thing you need to do if you are a beginner in the first C is to stop rolling for fruits as soon as you get to level 50. Instead of rolling for fruits, you need to save up money and buy the Aura, Air Jump and Flash Step abilities. Flash Step is optional for now because you won't need it much in the first C. But you need to get Aura and Air Jump. The second thing you can do to speed up the grind in first C is by getting a good grinding fruit. Light Ice and Buddha Fruit are the best in first C. And do not eat any mythical fruits, because all of the mythical fruits have a very high mastery requirement that will be difficult for you to achieve. The third way to speed up the grind is grinding at Fountain Island with a friend. The first thing you need to do is tell a high-level friend of yours to take you to Fountain Island. Then tell him to get the NPCs at Fountain Island to a low HP, and you can defeat those NPCs for a lot of levels and money quickly. If you are at a pretty good level in first C, then you can defeat the cyborg boss there too. The fourth way to speed up the grind is don't make the mistake of messing up your stats. Always make sure to keep your melee stats, defense stats and blocks fruits or sword stats if you are a Buddha user and have a good sword the same. And whatever you do, don't put any stats in your gun. The fifth way to speed up the grind in first C is don't grind to mastery on your sword if you don't have Buddha. Even if you did put stats in your sword or gun, don't grind mastery on those instead, use your fruit to grind, because it's more efficient and less time consuming. Now it's time for the things you can do to speed up the grind in 2nd C. The first thing that you have to remember when you reach 2nd C, is don't rush to get new things. Instead, take your time to fix your stats if it's messed up, or make a list of items you want to get in 2nd C. Making this list will help you avoid getting the items you don't want and will prevent the wastage of your time. The second thing somewhat contradicts the first one, and that is, don't start doing raids instantly after you get to the second C. Grind for a bit and then start doing raids. This will help you refresh your mind from the grinding you did and prevent boredom to a small degree. You also should prepare for upgrading your fighting style as soon as you get to the second C. For example, if you want the Sharkman Karate fighting style, you should get the Fisherman Karate and grind 400 mastery on it. The third thing I will suggest you to do is get the Magma Fruit and fully awaken it. Since you will need to grind a lot and get a lot of money to buy the items or fighting styles you want, fully awakened Magma will cover you from both sides. Awakened Magma can help you solo sea beasts for money and will easily defeat NPCs for level. The fourth thing you need to do is get you race, V2 and V3, as soon as possible. I will suggest you to get Shark V2 and V3 because of its 80% damage negation D3 ability and it will allow you to not take damage from water. The fifth thing you can do to speed up the grind in 2nd C is defeat the sea soldiers at the lower part of Forgotten Island if you are above level 1200. Defeat the Snow, Lucifers and Arctic Warriors at Ice Castle. If you are at a lower level, they are pretty easy to defeat, unlike the Sea Soldiers at Forgotten Island. You can also defeat the Smoke Admiral Boss at Hot and Cold Island, as he gives you pretty good experience, money and mastery. After you reach the third C, you aren't really a beginner, but you still have to grind a lot to reach max level. Now I will tell you three things that will help you get through the grind in third C faster. The number one thing is to always try to use two times experience. You can get it either by using codes or buying it from the store. The second thing is have a clear goal in mind. Don't rush to get new items if your goal is to reach max level. If your goal is something like to get the cursed dual katana or soul guitar, then just reach the item's obtainment requirement level and do the quest line and get the item. So you have to have a clear goal in mind before you start the grind to stop your time from being wasted. The third and last thing is get a better fruit than what you are using right now. For example, if you are using the Buddha fruit, you should upgrade to the Kitsune or the T-Rex fruit. 
it will cure your boredom and give you some motivation to grind further. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video if this helped you. Subscribe to this channel to see more useful Bloxfruits content, and it helps me out a lot. See you in the next one.